Socure is having a dramatic impact on financial inclusion through its innovative approach to identity verification and fraud prevention. Let's hear directly from a few Socureans on how they see the impact being created. Featuring Vina Hirnaya, I'm a Senior Director of Fraud Products at Secure. Ali Haddad, I'm a Senior Director of like, Data Science at uh, Socure. Sam Jackson, uh, I manage our platforms business unit and, and I'm actually within uh, product management. Pita Gadag, I'm a product manager here at Secure. Secure really focuses on identity verification and ensures that we not only follow the financial regulations, but also are very focused on inclusion. Talking about inclusiveness, Secure has been like really leading with respect to in inclusion. What do we mean by that? So basically, it means that we able to accept more people from the different like uh, uh, protected, protected classes. So for example, providing loans to African-American communities or Hispanics or immigrants where they have a thin file. Secure really focuses to try and ensure that we are able to clearly verify these identities with minimal effort, and then also make sure that they get accesses to services. Maybe you're an immigrant who's new to the country, or, or maybe you're pretty young and you've never had credit before, or, or maybe you've been trying to repair your credit perhaps after having your identity stolen. And so Cure has a, a almost entirely friction-free, easy, instantaneous uh, tool that, that makes it easier for uh, consumers to access services that are essential to their life. And, and it allows them to do it in a way that's safe and, and low impact and, and convenient. It's kind of magical because we're doing this thing that really, really helps. And we're so good at it that most people don't even have any idea that we're doing anything at all. I would say, like, just an example, having access to being able to open a bank account, to, to have a new credit card, for instance, that kind of like help people like um, just to have access to owning like a house, for instance, they build their credit history. And then that's as like a, a side effect, I would say, um, be able to increase the chance of like uh, owning a house at some point. That's basically one example I would see if we talk about race, ethnicity, age, uh, gender, so we approve more people for those uh, classes, and that's something that is very, like I would say, like rewarding for for data science. We're on the march to closing the gap on achieving 100% financial inclusion, and so we're going to continue to target our underserved demographics, and then alongside all of this, we'll continue to expand on algorithmic innovation. We'll continue to enhance our entity resolution models as well as our name matching models. And overall, I think this will really help us feed into our goal of 100% financial inclusion.